Have you ever had that strange feeling? Like something about the world just doesn't add up? Like you've seen a moment before it happened? Maybe it's a coincidence that feels too perfect. What if that uneasy feeling isn't just in your head? Maybe it's because you're living in a simulation. That's not just a sci-fi plot anymore, that it's a real scientific question. And believe it or not, there are serious minds out there trying to answer it. Let's dive into the simulation hypothesis and see if the universe might be running on code. In 2003, philosopher Nick Bostrom dropped a logic bomb. He argued that one of the following three statements must be true. Human civilization never makes it to the point of simulating conscious beings. Advanced civilizations can do it, but choose not to. Or, we're almost certainly living inside one of the simulations they've already built. If number three is true, then you, me, your dog, and this entire universe might just be lines of code in a massive cosmic program. Okay, so how could we possibly test this idea? It's not a belief, it's a probability argument. And in a statistical point of view, it is a pretty strong argument. If simulations become easy to make, then there could be billions of them. In that case, the odds that we're in the original physical universe are close to zero. Let's head into the realm of physics, because if we are inside a simulation, then the universe might behave a lot like a computer system. And it turns out, some weird parts of physics already kind of look that way. First, space might not be smooth, it might be pixelated. In computers, everything comes in bits and bytes. In physics, we found something similar, the Planck length. It's the smallest possible unit of space, about a hundred billion billion times smaller than a proton. You can't divide it. You can't zoom in past it. It's like the universe's resolution. And if reality is pixelated, is it being rendered? Second, the universe has a speed limit. Nothing goes faster than the speed of light. Why? One possibility, it's the universe's refresh rate. Like a computer that can't process frames faster than 60 FPS, the cosmos may have a built-in maximum speed for how fast information can move. And that's exactly what light speed is, information speed. Third, quantum mechanics' weird rules could be a try for code optimization. Quantum mechanics might just be the ultimate optimization hack. In the quantum world, particles don't have definite properties until we observe them. Until then, they exist in a cloud of probabilities. Once we look, boom, reality collapses into a single outcome. This sounds eerily like lazy rendering. Why calculate the whole world when the observer is only looking at one corner of it? Only show what's needed. Save processing power. Classic simulation design. And fourth, there might be literal code written into the laws of physics. Some physicists, like James Gates, found something strange while studying string theory. Buried in the equations, they discovered mathematical structures identical to computer error-correcting codes. In other words, reality might come with built-in software that keeps things from glitching. If that's not suspicious, I don't know what is. But here's the problem. Even if all this feels like evidence, none of it proves anything. A well-designed simulation could be indistinguishable from a real universe. Just like a perfect dream feels real, until you wake up. So maybe the better question isn't, can we prove it? But instead, what would it mean if it were true? If this is a simulation, who built it? Could it be future humans? Maybe they're running ancestor simulations to study history, or to relive the past, or just for entertainment. Maybe it's an alien civilization, advanced beyond imagination, or a cosmic artificial intelligence, playing with virtual realities like toys. And here's a mind bender. If we ever build our own simulations, entire universes with conscious beings inside them. That means we could be living inside someone else's simulation while running our own. A simulation, inside a simulation, inside a simulation. Where does it end? So are we real? Honestly, maybe it doesn't matter. Whether we're code or carbon, our thoughts are still ours. Our emotions still feel real. And our curiosity, that deep urge to ask big questions, 
that might be the most real thing there is. So don't be afraid to wonder, to explore, to question everything. Because simulated or not, this universe is still one worth understanding. And in the end, maybe that's the point. Thanks for watching. If like this content, please hit the subscribe below for more brain melting science. Glitches in the matrix not included.